Dr. Ostrom, um, of course, you've been with us today. We appreciate the time that you've devoted. I know a lot of um, what you uh, talked about today earlier was DBS and kind of that's your specialty and you see where it is now and, and kind of where it's moving in the future. Um, could you share with us some of the highlights that you felt like you made during your presentation today? Yeah, absolutely. It was wonderful to be here and meet all of you. Um, I am really excited about what is coming for the future of DBS as it relates to dystonia. Um, we know that it's a very, very powerful therapy in improving motor, motor symptoms that go along with dystonia, whether it be cervical dystonia or generalized dystonia. These are forms, um, especially if there's no known cause other than perhaps a mutation that we know um, is responsible for the dystonia. Those are the types of patients that most benefit. Um, but we, we now have uh, systems that are smarter that are going to be able to help us record brain activity, not just give stimulation to the brain, but actually record what's happening in the brain. Yes. Much like a cardiac pacemaker can record mm -hmm. signals from the, the heart and then offer um, a pulse to break up an arrhythmia. Mm -hmm. The same will be true for the brain. Yeah. So we won't have to deliver chronic stimulation probably in the future, we can have smarter stimulation that can be yeah. maybe tailored to that mm -hmm. individual. So I think um, it, it's a really exciting time and we are going to learn a lot more about what causes dystonia and how to treat people better with these devices. Very well said. Well, it is an exciting time, that's for sure. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.